Hey John, so um, let's go on with the demo. Uh, so as you can see on the left window, we got uh, rules open. I'm just gonna start a new spreadsheet on my um, personal workspace. And uh, right off the bat, you will see our elastic grid. So the grid grows uh, with your needs and you can add other grids to it. Uh, and so I'm gonna import some data. Let's use Google Analytics. You know, I'm just gonna get some Google Analytics data uh, and I'm gonna get a custom report. It's gonna load uh, the properties already for us. I just have to pick the ID and now you pick the date range. It's just gonna go back to January uh, until the end of March, let's say. I'm gonna pick up a couple of um, metrics like page views and unique page views. I'm gonna set a dimension to aggregate these by year of the uh, week of the year. I'm gonna load up the data, it's gonna create a new table, I'm gonna set up the table, I'm gonna choose which header, I'm gonna choose this, this and that. That's that's kind of it. Do I wanna flip it? No. No, that's that's how I wanted it. And that's it. Now I got a table. I'm gonna just insert a little chart so that we got something a bit prettier to look at. Uh, and I think we are we're done, right? So now we got a little a little automation that grabs your data from analytics and then uh, and then charts it, right? Now, uh, uh, if you want to, <coughs> if you want to embed this this, this information, you got to share it, right? So you can come in here, sharing, and then uh, embed it, or uh, you can embed directly from the element, right? I'm just going to do it like that. And I came here, it said that the spreadsheet first has to be shared. So I go back to the shared panel. Okay, it's shared privately with a link. So anyone with a link can access the spreadsheet. And then it generates this, this embed code, right? It's gonna copy the URL, because this is how it works in Notion. I'm gonna go right over Notion, as you can see on the left pane, on the right pane. And I'm gonna type embed. I'm gonna add the link there. And so you hit enter and you will see the chart uh, in rows. Uh, there you go. I'll just make this a little bit bigger. And now you got uh, the rows chart here, full display. Now this is uh, dynamic, right? So if I edit the, the data and instead of this period, I wanted, you know, only up to the end of February, you will see that when I update uh, this data, the charts update uh, uh, simultaneously, both in Notion here and on the rules page. Now we could make it even more dynamic, right? Uh, let's say we want this to react to a date range, and I'm gonna add a date range in here. Um, there you go. I'm gonna pick up another date. Again, uh, let me go back to January. The same period. Now I'm just going to change my request so that instead of picking up some some fixed date, it's going to pick up load up the date from that um, from that uh, input field. Right, that's it. So it's kind of like the same because I chose the same date. And um, but now you know if you come to our live shareable page, now the the spreadsheet is much more robust. Like there's nothing to break here, no formulas, no nothing. But users can still play around with uh, with uh, the periods. Let's go back to to the full uh, 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 range which we had initially, and it changes automatically. Right. Even cooler is that you can actually layer multiple embeds. I'm going to get an embed of just this this little uh, uh, date picker, uh, and I'm going to also embed it in my Notion here. And now you've got two separate you got two separate uh, embeds, right? One for the chart and one for the date picking. And you will see that, uh, I need this to be bigger uh, for the date selection. And now you will see that uh, if I change uh, the date here, that uh, uh, this embed is communicating with rows, which is communicating to the chart back to, to Notion again. So you can actually create a lot of cool gizmos uh, with that.